I used to think that ghost stories were only in books. And we went up to the Roosevelt Hotel in Coeur d'Alene, beautiful hotel. Um, used to be a schoolhouse for kids back in Teddy Roosevelt's day. And so we're doing five floors. We get there the night before. I check into the Johnson room and finally get to sleep. About two o'clock in the morning, I wake up and I hear footsteps, little footsteps going around my bed. And I'm like, okay, there shouldn't be anybody else in my room. So I reach over, I turn on the light, and nobody is there. I'm like, oh, that was creepy. So finally, I went to sleep about an hour later. Next day, we got busy doing the scan. Two days later, I'm sitting there having coffee with John, the owner. I'm like, hey, I had something weird kind of happen in my room. I heard footsteps. And he goes, what room are you in? I'm like, Johnson room. He goes, oh, that's Dennis. I'm like, who's Dennis? He goes, Dennis is a eight-year-old ghost, their resident ghost. He's been there for 23 years. He's done things like walk to the end of the bed and waved hi to guests and walk through the wall. Um, and over the years, um, you know, you can watch the video and John will talk about all the antics that, that Dennis has done. And how Dennis got his name actually was from John's daughter. She was washing dishes in the kitchen. And the paperwork papers were on the refrigerator, like they usually do with Matt. And they came flying across the room, hit her back. And then all of a sudden she turned around and said, Dennis, quit it. And papers dropped. And he got his name from Dennis the Menace comic strip. So, you know, people ask me about this job and, you know, what's it like? I'm like, you have no idea the kind of things that we as uh, marketing people get to do. And this is one of the fun things. So the... Roosevelt Inn is not haunted. He's a very, very happy ghost. My suggestion is go up and experience it, or better yet, take a tour through the 3D tour, and also listen to the video John talking about Dennis. Thank you.